Now time for a CBS Health Watch. Do you know anyone who, or you sneeze, just flat out sick? You're not alone. People all across North Texas, even here in our newsroom, are feeling ill. But some people don't know if it's their allergies or something more serious. So joining us now is Dr. DJ Verrett from the UT Southwestern Medical Center. Doctor, good morning. Good morning. Uh, I am just, you know, I, this, it seems this year is worse than previous years. Am I right or wrong? Well, everyone has different allergens, so mm -hmm. it may be worse for them at certain periods of time. Uh, allergens can be both environmental, the pollens. Unfortunately, in North Texas, we have them from January through November. Yeah. And you can also have environmental allergens, things sure. that are inside. Dust mites are a big one, dogs, cats, pet dander, that kind of thing. Okay, so, so you're going to help the folks at home deal with it. Right. All right, right, great. And it doesn't cost you, it's not insured. I mean, you don't have to pay insurance or anything. No. no. So what are we starting with? So what we start with is basically nasal saline, taking salt water and just rinsing out your nose. You can get a product called a neti pot at the store. Comes with the, with the salt, with the instructions on how to mix it, and a little pot to actually instill it into your nose. Sign your rinse is another product. Or go do it yourself. Take a cup of water, one half teaspoon of salt, very simple. If and I it's can do the same this. thing that's in the packaging? Same thing that's in the packaging. Okay. Go ahead and mix that up. Get a suction bulb like you would use for a child. Right. Fill that thing up and then simply instill it in your nose and spray out your nose. Suggest doing it in the morning when you're in the shower so it can just come right out your mouth. Yeah, and, and for those of you who have done that, it's not the most pleasant thing in the no. world. But, but it works very well. It does seem to work. Scientific studies have shown it's even better than some, nas some prescription nasal sprays. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah. All right, now, I've had astelin and I've taken the Afrin. Is this good or bad or what? Some of them are good. Some of the prescription ones, the astelin, the nasal steroids, very good. The Afrin, be very careful with. If you use it more than about two or three days, it can actually make your problem even worse and can make it very difficult to come off of. So okay. be very careful. So it, it, you can get addicted. Yeah. Okay. The other thing real quick is when you do it, you actually want to aim for the outside part of your nose. So when instilling in the right nostril, use your left hand, left nostril, right hand. And don't stick it all the way up because it's not going to help you, right? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. And we've got about 30 seconds left. Tell okay. about this. So these are some natural supplements. Your mother was right. Use your vitamins, your antioxidants. Resveratrol is a new product out found in grapes, red grapes, red wines. Actually seems to work. Butter burr is another product. It was actually proved by the Switzerland version of the FDA to treat nasal allergies. And that's butter burr. Butter, butter burr. B-U-T-T-E-R-B-U-R. -T -T -E okay. And, uh, and you have the, the, ta you know, the tablets or the pills that you can take. Right, that are over the counter. And they can help you treat the symptoms of either uh, colds, upper respiratory tract infections, or nasal allergies. Some work for some people, some don't. Talk to your pharmacist or your doctor about it. Doctor, thank you. Thank you. And that nice free advice for something that's nothing to sneeze at. <laughs>